this the last time that we get the privilege of watching Mighty Mouse throw down in the circle? One of the routines I started for myself, so I can look like a fight, fight night ritual, is I pack. I clean my whole entire room, I get everything ready to go, I get the outfit I'm wearing after I'm done fighting. And the reason why I do that is because back in WC48, when I fought Brad Pickett, I broke my hand. I went to the hospital after the fight, came back to the room, and my room was a mess, just absolute mess. So I learned from that lesson that before I go fight, I pack my whole room. That way, all I have to do is come back, grab my luggage, and get to the airport. And I don't really think about the fight right now. I just think about make sure I don't leave anything behind. The journey, this camp, and this this fight is coming to an end. You know, so I'm super excited to get in there and just get it done. <laughs> fight, to be honest with you, like I said, I've been doing this for so long, I've had my big cards before, fought in sold out arenas, you know, 15,000, 18,000, so, you know, I, I would say the only thing that's special about this one is just, my kids are going to be there watching me fight, uh, that's a little sentimental, you know, good, they're pumped, I think, you know, they're at a point now in their lives that they like the entertainment value of it. Like they went to WWE and they experienced that for the first time and they absolutely love the entertainment value of it. And then for them, like almost like the setup, like the, the venue and the music and the fireworks, like all that is kind of like WWE. So they kind of like look, look into that. Like, oh man, it's gonna be sick. So they're super pumped about it. One fight night 10, Johnson versus Marias three. Demetrius Johnson, pound for pound, greatest fighter of all time. Arriving a short time ago here to the First Bank Center in Denver, Colorado. He will fight <laughs> later on tonight in the main event, depending his belt in the flyweight division. And I'm excited for them to see me fight, you know? Like I tell them too, like I've seen them compete and they cry. And they see me compete on TV and lose and come home and have a great attitude. And I tell them all the time, I was like, dude, you're gonna lose. Like losing is part of the game. And winning is part of the game too. But it's how you react after you're done fighting or competing is matters the most. Yeah, your daddy's one of the best in the world, but doesn't mean I need to go around and gloat and show everybody. It's just, you know, I'm a, I'm a humble man, fight to make a good living. All right, you ready? We're ready. I'll cut. Hi, back. Morning time. Hi. Hi, let's Wait. go make some money. Now you're talking my language. You know, at the end of the day, everybody has their own purpose. So I tell the kids, like, daddy's purpose, my fight is to provide for you guys, you know? and. At the end of the day, so I was like, rather do my job and put on a good show, you know, when you draw, it, you know, my attitude shouldn't change, right? Even when I win, my attitude shouldn't change. He's dancing, so. <laughs> you listen to Don Tolliver, you get something like this. This, this hood rhythm. Undisputed, one lightweight champion of the world, Demetrius Johnson. We are one. <laughs> DJ's retirement in the last couple of weeks. Do you believe this is his last fight, Rich? It could quite possibly be. DJ has talked about the fact that this is a business decision. A lot of fighters end up retiring because of physical Some people end up retiring because mentally they're just burned out. This is the main event. So much excitement, so many months in the making. Finally, we get to the trilogy fight. Mighty Mouse chants ring out here at the First Bank Center. 
crowd 100% behind Mighty Mouse. As they collide in the center of the circle, DJ gets thrown back and then a knee attempt from Marias. And back to the center they go. Everything on the line tonight, DJ couldn't possibly be more relaxed. Now it's Marias on the charge. Oh, big takedown. DJ gets the first takedown of the affair. Third round in this flyweight world championship matchup. Fight back up. How elusive is DJ? DJ's pace has not slowed Rich, but it looks like Adriano slowed down a touch. Adriano has not been able to keep him at bay. He stayed in out big time. His body is trying to tear his body up. Okay. And he's fucking stalling. When he probably grabs, yep. stretch his fucking arms out, making him even more tired. Okay? Here we go. Arriving at the championship round. Marias is looking a little less and less fresh every round, and DJ's coming out just as surprised he was in the first. Deep in the fourth round. Nice short elbow and a short knee and a flying knee from DJ. What a flurry there from Mighty Mouse. Final round. So much on the line in this third and final match between these two. DJ and Marias trying to close the show. by unanimous decision and still undisputed one lightweight champion of the world Demetrius Johnson long people have been talking is this the last time that we get the privilege of watching mighty mouse throw down in the circle you guys want me to keep on fighting yeah. I, I i gotta talk to my wife first and i'll get back to you guys okay Happy, happy birthday, is it, uh, wouldn't it pass? Huh? When's your birthday? Yeah, April 21st. Oh. Happy belated birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say 35, I was like, I thought it was 34. No, yeah. <laughs> nah, man, I'm getting old too. I, I know, fuck, I know you guys, there's something else to do. Goodbye, man, thank you. It's amazing, make part of your legacy, your mind. Thank you. Yeah. I always laugh when I see you hit me in the knee, and I'm on the ground like this, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. Good job, buddy, man. Yep. Oh, you're talking about Utah. No, no, I, I went to Salt Lake City to watch, to watch one of those. I know, that's Utah. Oh, no, that was Kansas City. Oh. Kansas City. Yeah, but you stayed at the hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you were too young. Yeah. And then you came to California when I fought. Did I watch? No, you were too big. You were still a baby, so you couldn't watch. Yeah. See, these guys, they grapple and they get to travel I, I all know. around the world I and know, make good I, money. I know, I saw Does he do jiu-jitsu? They both do, yeah. yeah. Do jiu -jitsu? Oh, let's go. What do you say, say? Thank you. This one's got the moves here. Yeah. He was dancing no, the whole time. Give him the belt, this one. <laughs> hey, congrats, man. Here we go, there's Maverick. All right, this isn't my lock. Oh, thanks, good man. Good job, good job. What's that? Oh, it's over there, okay. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Oh, that was good. I was angry at the pets. Yeah. I caught on it. I should. Oh, oh, hey. You gotta hit the pad, buddy. You gotta hit the pad. Good job, buddy. Good job. Good job. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you.
Chop. You like America? Yeah. You, you've been here before. That's right. You've done sunrise here. It's all right. I, have, I haven't finished this shit. You know? <laughs> no, I don't know. But hey, no, like, you keep it. like getting ready for you made me get better. Man, like, I have to get up, man. Getting ready for you makes me like I, I fucking hate it. Like the, I, the, I, the, I, the, the better man I, I I would be one day. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. as a man. Um, as an athlete in and yep. out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You inspire everybody, bro. Thanks, you know man. what I'm saying? And me, I'm one of them. Yep, yep. But it's honor to be like, share the cage with you. Absolutely, you know no, like, yeah. I was like, holy shit, man, again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's so it. fucking tough, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. but me train, let's go, let's try, let's go, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm happy, like, finish five rounds. Absolutely, feel great, yeah, you know you're healthy. Like, you need to go home to your wife. Yes. You need to go on vacation. At the end of the day, mm -hmm. it's about making the money and be able to do something afterwards, right? And of course. Like, like that's where your kind, your kind like how you how you know how to work with the money. The yep. money yep. that's inspired me too. And Absolutely. Saying, like to open up the mind to learn and all this stuff. So Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? I think I think the fight can give you a purpose. Right? Absolutely. Like, Proud of. We're not gonna do that forever, of yep. course. But brother, honor, honor, man. Take care yourself.